Okay, everyone, so I pretty much made my three rows. I've cut my thread, I've tuck all the loose ends away, and we're going to start. So I have the three, as you see. Now we're going to start this row right at the edge. So do your, if you're changing colors, your slip uh, stitch knot. I'm going to come right here on the first one here. Trying to get my little thread tucked in at the same time. Do your single. And we're going to go up uh, chain three. One. Two. And three. Next space. Okay, we're doing on the outside um, loop. This first one, it's okay. You can leave it as is. It's much easier to, to get it in. It doesn't change anything. Okay, we're grabbing back loops. And we're going to do groups of five all the way around this row. Okay, five double crochets. So very simple, nothing to it. Doing groups of five double crochets, grabbing back loops only, two chain, skip a space, going to the next one, next space again. So we're doing again five groups of double crochet. So it's going to be like this all the way around. And even when you get to, to your one chain separation here, you still count that as, as a space. So, so two, four, five to chain, S skip one, you're going to the next one, next space, next space, next space, until you have your, your five groups, so very simple, nothing to it, we're almost at the end, so continue yours and I'll continue mine, that's all we're doing, Skipping a space, two chain separation, five groups of five, grabbing back loops only. I'll meet you at the end. So I just wanted to show you, of course, you're getting into the size. It's the same thing. It doesn't change nothing. You skip one, and you continue on doing your five groups. So very simple. Now, obviously, of course, I have to use two chain because this is very thin thread, so it would have been pulling like almost a hat, right? So, but for most of you that are creating with innate ply, you know you're only going to do a one chain practically everywhere. Okay, so two chain or one chain. Skip one, going to the next one. And continue doing your five groups of, not five groups, but your uh, five double crochet groups all the way around. And sometimes with the purple, it's hard to see, but that's what it is. Okay, you guys, so basically we're getting to the end, and what's going to happen here in the end is you won't probably have enough room to fit another one. So what are you going to do? You're going to do your two chain. You want to make sure that you have um, that one skipped here. So you have three spaces here. So if you skip here, You're going to do, you're only going to have two of them in there, right? So what are we going to do? We can back it up a bit. We can put two together here. So that's going to create your, your five. Okay. We're going to do our two chain. We're going to skip one. We're going to do two in here.
Next space, we're going to do two more in here. And next space, we're going to do one. So we have our five. Very easy. So it's always a fixable when you get to any type of pattern like that, that you're working on, on the end that it doesn't meet, like it's too short to have your, your, cro your crochets in or whatever you're doing. So oh, I was going to cut it. No, we don't cut. We're going to do, we're going to go in the center here on the second one. No, we are going to cut it. I was making a mistake already. thought we were going to use this one, but we're not. We're going to start making the seashells into the spaces that we have of two spades. So I'm going to try to just hide my thread here in between because the next row is going to cover it up anyway. Okay, gonna get my yellow out. So this yellow that I'm using is a multicolored yellow. It's got some cream and yellow, uh, lighter shade, darker shade. Anyway, so we are going to do um, inside of the space here where we have the two chain separation. We're going to do a single. We're going to do one, two, three. We have to create again five double crochets inside of these squares because we are going to uh, build our seashells. Okay. One chain. We're going to skip one. One, two, on the third space right here in the middle, you're going to do a single, one chain. You want to come back and you're going to do your five double crochets again. Now, if you find that your one chain, depending what you're creating, if you're creating the rug or just a uh, table runner, if it's too thin, if you find it's pulling too much, then give a two chain separation, okay? For the rug people, one chain only. And I have to see if maybe I have to. So you're going to put on a third space. So you have your one double crochet, two double crochet, and you have your third double crochet. So you're going to do a single, and then you're going to come back into the next square and do your five double crochets. So we're creating the seashells. Very simple, nothing to it. We're almost at the end. One chain on the third space, we're creating a single, or at least trying to. It's very hard to crochet with your hands on top of a table, you know, we're used to bringing our, our hands, our arms to our chest when we're crocheting, right? So to have the recordings, we have to do this uh, with our hands stretched out on top of the table. The camera is practically up my mouth, you know what I'm saying? So it's very, um, it's not easy to be, to be doing recording. Uh, it's uh, very complicated. Sometimes we knock the camera down. We have to re-record. I mean, you know, not easy at all. But, you know, we try to do the best that we can. Sometimes we can't even see properly because we have a distance between our eyes and 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 the hands on the on the table or whatever space we're working on, right? So sometimes it's quite difficult. I mean, who's used to working with our arms stretched out? You know, uh, we usually bring it to our chest and work from there, close to ourselves. So one, two, three, and one chain separation. And again, so basically this is all we're doing on this row all the way around. And then you can cut your thread if you're changing colors. I'm going back into the purple after that to make that shape around the seashell like the one we have here. 
as you can see, I know it's a little bit distance, but one chain on the third space, which is the third double crochet from the previous row, we close in with a single. And my hands keep slipping out of it because my arms are stretched out, so it's kind of hard to to get it together. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and this is what we will do all the way around. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, so we pretty much finished all the seashells. Now we're going to go around them. And we're going to start here. First one where it lines up. Okay, so we're going to go in one, two, three, four. Okay. So let's go in the first one here. And we're going to do single. Try to hide our thread, yarn, whatever you're using. Next space, single. So we're going to do all singles. There's just going to be a little twist to it here. So we have four singles. One, two, three, four. We have four singles. I'm going to do another single here. We're going to go into the second double crochet from the previous row here. And we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to come back. We're going to walk backwards. Okay, I call it the walk. We're going to go into the second one here from the first uh, double crochets that we started. And we're going to do another double crochet. So you're going to have you're going to have a crisscross effect, okay? We're going to go into the first one here, double crochet, double crochet. Actually, it's supposed to be back loops, and I'm sorry about that. So we start again. Sometimes you just forget. Okay. So this one, we're going to do it from the outside here then just to get it easier for us. Try to hide our thread. We're going to go in here and we're going to try to get back loops only, double crochets and one inside here of the space. Thread. So we're going to grab the double crochet from the previous row. We're going to do a double crochet. We're going to walk backwards to the second one here. Stretch well and do your double crochet. And you're going to come inside of this one here and do a single grab back loop single single so that's one two three four five and inside here six again you're going to come here on the second one you're going to do double crochet you're going to walk backwards into the second double crochet here And you're going to do a double crochet. You're going to come in between, single, next space, single, back loops only, single, single, single crochet. We're going to come in here, single. We're going to grab the second 
double crochet from previous row we're going to do a single we're going to come walk backwards into the second one here too and we're going to do a single and then in between we're going to do a single 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 crochet next space single crochet next space single crochet and i'm just going to come in between here and we're going to do a double crochet on the second double crochet from the previous row we're going to walk backwards and come into this one and stretch it and do a double crochet Now, if you feel more comfortable on, because that's, I believe that's what I did to the other one. I went in here instead of going inside of the whole thing. So you can just do your double crochet there. There. It doesn't matter if you do it inside or out. It's the first one. You know, it's just to have a good effect on the seashell. And then you could do this one here too. We come into the second double crochet. We do double crochet. We walk backwards into the second one. And we do double crochet. And again, you can come inside here, back loop, single, single. It gives it a nice effect to the, to the seashell. And one here into the second double crochet double crochet walk backwards into the second one double crochet so it's going to make like a cross uh, on it as you can see here okay it gives it that nice effect so then you come into the first one back loop single or you can go right in the middle of the space if you like as you saw i did the middle and now i've changed to the back loops as the rug pattern but it really doesn't change anything so into the second one second double crochet with a double crochet walk backwards into the second double crochet and double crochet and then you do your single on your first double crochet and you continue on so we're going to do this this way all the way around you can cut your thread if you're changing colors because we're doing the next seashell different color just to bring out the effect of the seashells to match up the pattern but if you're using one color only then by all means it looks great just the same okay so nothing to it just singles the only uh difference is is doing the x so going into the second double crochet with double crochet walk backwards into the second one so we don't do the first one here and double crochet and then come into your first double crochet here on the seashell and we do the singles now, if you need to rewind and check it again, then go ahead until you get the hang of it. But it's not complicated at all. So on to the second double crochet from previous row. We're doing double crochet, walk backwards into the second one. And double crochet. Come into the first double crochet on the seashell back loops and we create our singles into the second double crochet from the previous row we're going to walk backwards into the second one and create our double crochet So nothing to it, people. Very easy. Actually, it's much easier with a four ply than it is with an eight ply. Eight ply is very difficult 
because there's eight threads so it's very difficult you have to pull all of them at the same time and look how gorgeous that looks and then you can cut your thread if you're changing colors of course okay everyone so we pretty much finished doing the multicolored purple the single crochets with our x in the center so now we're going to do the next row with the seashells again so in the middle of this x right here get you a little bit closer sometimes it's best to move the black so you can see I should have done that already a while back and have the white behind so you can see so we're going to do single I'm going to try to hide my thread we're going to go up two chain with the single makes three and then we're going to do five more same thing as we did with the other seashell five more double crochet inside of the middle here where the x is Now I'm using the same purple as I did from the beginning of the center. So we have four and we have five. My thread is all rolled up here. Okay, so we're gonna do one chain separation. We're gonna skip one on the second one so we have one two three and four so we're going to skip one on the second one which is right in the middle we're going to do single one chain separation we're going to go back into the middle where we have the x and create our five double crochets again so very simple this row will be the same way all the way around and we have only one more row left which is just single crochet all the way around so we have two four five one chain i'm going to skip one two on the third space single one chain come back into the center and do your five double crochet And you want to stay tuned for the next tutorial because I'm doing a table runner only with flowers. So I think you're going to like that a lot too. One, two. And I'm going to put it right there in the middle. As you can see, from you have to go where the middle is, okay? So I'm right in between... I'm right over the, the second uh, single here but if I look on the bottom I have one two on the third one of the uh, double crochet okay because we want to stay in the middle we don't want it to be slanted sideways so you work with the pattern not against the pattern so sometimes it doesn't matter how many stitches you have on there it's you know you go accordingly to the center uh, where your motives are if you know what i'm saying which i think you do so two four five one chain again we have it here so we're gonna do our single right there i'm gonna push it over a bit so one two so it has to be like right here in the center so it can be on the center of this one or whatever way is comfortable for you I like to line them up so sometimes I don't pay attention to how many stitches are there that I have to skip I just look from the previous rows and just line the top one accordingly to the bottom row so your five, your one chain, and I know my third one's here, so I'm going to close it in here, okay? So we're going to do that all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing my last seashell row. Closed in on third place, locked in, and hid my hidden thread there. We're doing the last row, and this row is very simple. It's all um, single crochet, so we're going to be grabbing back loops. So we're doing just single on all of the back loops. Trying to hide my thread at the same time. Now, where we have our single, we did our single in the middle. I'm going to come in from the back, I'm going to grab it, I'm going to bring it to the back, and I'm going to do a single. And then I'm going to continue on with my single crochet and all of the back loops only until here. And again, come from the back into the other side, grab your thread, bring it to the back, and do your single. And again, now if you want to just go over with a single on the single, that's fine too. It's up to you. I'm doing the same way as I did on the rug. So you come through from the back, you pull it, oops, to the back, keep slipping it out. Good God. I just keep slipping it. Hmm. That's because I have my hand tied up on the thread back here. Okay, so then you'd come and you do your singles again. So you're going to have it like that. Gives it a nice little effect, especially if you're using different colors. Um, it stands out more. And just continue on doing your singles. Now, like I said here, if you don't want to come in from the back, you can just go over the single if you find it's easier for you. It's not going to change much on the pattern. So you could just go over it if you'd like. So this cuts it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of this recreation. Thank you so much to every single one of you. And I hope you enjoy this, Miss Carol. I hope that you create it and you have pleasure on creating it. If you have any questions or anyone for that matter, Please uh, leave me on the comments. If not, if not, you can always look me up on Facebook, Maggie Lopez, and it's the same picture ID on my Facebook, and you can try to send me a message through there. So thank you so much, everyone. I will have the pictures in display at the end and a little vid video with it on my table so you can see the end result, what it looks like. Thank you again, and stay uh, tuned for the next tutorial with the flowers. And please stay safe, and God bless everybody. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, every single one of you that have been with me throughout this journey. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>